All right, so these are the assembly instructions for my little briefcase. So I made a full-size version, and now I'm making a miniature version just because it's easier to show the assembly on something that fits within the frame of my camera. This is not the way I would create a file like this for something this small, but just to be able to show you how the larger one goes together, I'm going to be doing the exact same steps as I did with the larger one. So I have two plain rectangles, and I have one rectangle with rounded off corners. So I'm going to put the rounded off corner one aside, and then I'm going to make a pile with the two others. So the two others each have a decorative panel that goes with them. So this one's going to be the top and the other one is going to be the bottom of my briefcase. So I have four pieces, two short ones, two long ones, that have a wide band in the center. And then I have four pieces, two long ones, two short ones, that have a comparatively narrow band. I'm going to put all the ones with the narrow band on one pile and the ones with the thicker bands on another pile. These two other rectangles are going to be to decorate the interior once my briefcase has been assembled. So we'll put those aside for now. And then I have all my pieces with stitching on them. So again, I have the narrow pieces and the wider pieces. I'm going to put the wider pieces on the pile with my wider ones and then the narrow pieces on the other pile. So I have these four pieces with the score lines on them and I'm just going to fold down on all these score lines. Okay, so I fold it down on these score lines so it makes it a lot more obvious where to place my decorative pieces. I'm just going to glue them down, trying to maintain an even border all the way around between those score lines. The two other decorative strips, you'll notice that there are shapes that have scored onto those pieces. The one that has the two little circles scored on it, you're going to glue that down to the one that has these tabs cut out of the flap. So if you notice your circles are closer to one edge than they are to the other, you want to glue it down so that your scored circle is closer to the tab and further away from your flap that has tabs in it. I'm just going to glue those pieces down. Now I'm going to take that plain rectangle, I'm going to take one of my decorated pieces. So I'm putting glue on the tab. The tab is going to be not only narrower, but it also has these sharp angles at each end. So I'm just putting glue all along that tab and then I'm going to lay my piece flat and then I'm just sliding my base piece right up to it and I want to make sure that my score line for my tab up here is right along the cut line of my rectangle and I want that for the bottom as well. Now I'm using one of my longer pieces. I'm putting glue along that tab, sliding the bottom of my briefcase right up to that score line. That cut edge is right along the score line. Now I'm just grabbing a short piece and I'm doing the exact same thing as I did with the previous one. And then my fourth piece, exact same thing. Next I'm just going to put glue on any one of these tabs, it doesn't matter which one, but one of these corner tabs. And then I'm going to fold both sides so that they meet. So I want that cut edge to meet up with the score line from my tab. I'm going to do that with all four of them. All right, so now I have these flaps. So I'm covering my flap in glue, and then I'm just turning it inwards inside my box. And I'm spreading that glue with my bone folder. Now, if you don't have a bone folder, you can use a ruler or something with a nice straight edge. So I'm doing that for the long flap and for the other short flap. So now I have this one side with these tabs. So what I'm going to do is I'm just folding these tabs outwards. There are three of them. And then I have four flaps. So I'm just going to put glue on those flaps and I'm just folding them inwards. So in the end you have those three tabs. I'm going to flip my piece over. I've got my tabs on the bottom here and I have my decorative piece with the flower. I've decided that I want my flower at the lower left hand side. So I'm just going to put glue on the back of this panel and just glue it down. So next we're going to do basically the exact same thing with the other side of our briefcase. So I've already folded down on all the score lines for those four pieces. And again, I have my decorative panels. So for the decorative panel that has the circles scored on either end, you want to glue that one down to the piece that has the three slots on that flap. 
if your flap is on your left and your tab is on your right, you want to make sure that the scored circle is closer to your flap on your left and further away from the tab on your right. So now I'm making sure that I have the, re the correct rectangle. It's the one with the squared off corners. And I'm taking one of my decorated panels. I'm putting glue all over the tab. So I'm just sliding my panel right up to my piece. I'm making sure the score lines of that tab are just even with the edge of my bottom. And just like for the other section that I've just done, I'm just gluing these in position. And next, I'm putting glue on those tabs just like I did previously and forming those corners. Okay, so now I have those flaps again. One of my flaps has those three slits cut out. I'm going to leave that one for now. I'm just going to work on the three others. I'm just putting glue all along the flap and then just folding it inwards. And I'm just going to do that with the two other flaps, leaving the one with the slits in it intact. I have my tab here at the bottom. I'm just going to flip my piece over on my mat. And then I'm just going to glue on this panel. And again, this is the bottom of my briefcase. So I'm putting this towards the bottom left hand side of my briefcase. All right, so now I have all my little silver pieces. I've cut these out of foil craft board. I have three tiny little circles and I'm putting them aside for now. And then I have eight circles. I'm going to pair these up and glue them together. And then I've cut out duplicates of these. I've glued them back to back so that they become two sided. So now I'm going to build my little closure. So I have this piece with a little slit in it and I've cut out of a thinner material. This piece with a tab at the end, I'm just folding down that tab and I'm inserting it inside that slit like so. I'm going to flip my piece around. I'm putting glue on the back and then I'm folding the tab downwards. Flip it around and then I'm grabbing my silver piece that goes on top and I'm just going to glue it along that thinner material. I've already done that with the other one so I have two of them. I have a duplicate of that backing shape and I'm just gluing the backing to it like so. Then I have another piece that's only slightly bigger so I'm just gluing it behind those two others like so. And it's just to give a little bit of depth. And then I have these larger pieces with smaller pieces that go over them. So I'm just going to glue those together as well. So I'm just glued one on top of the other. So next I have these little oval shaped pieces. I'm taking my Cricut tool and I'm just folding these pieces over on themselves. I don't want a sharp fold here, so I just have it kind of rounded over my tool. And then I'm taking one of those rectangles with the cutout in the center, and I'm threading it through. I want it standing up. So I'm just putting glue all over that oval. So I'm gluing it to itself with that rectangle at a 90 degree angle. I'm going to do the exact same thing for the other one. So I have the actual handle, I'm wrapping it around because I want a nice rounded kind of look. Now that my pieces are all prepped, I'm going to start with the bottom. Either side of the box, it doesn't really matter. You have those two scored circles. You're just going to put a little bit of glue, place your circle inside like so. You're going to do the same thing on the other side. For the other piece, you're going to do the exact same thing. So the piece that has the three tabs on it also has the score lines for your handles and for your closures. You just want to glue down your handles right here. Just glue on the bottom of the oval. Use those score lines as your guide to position those pieces. And then you have a handle piece that you've glued down. I'm just putting a little bit of glue on the tip of that tab. I'm grabbing my reverse tweezers. I'm going in there clamping that piece down so that it glues in position like so. Then I have my decorative piece that goes on top of my handle. I've just put glue on the back of it and I'm gluing it down to the top of my handle like so. And I have the two decorative pieces that go on either side. I'm just going to glue those down. I have these little tiny half oval pieces and I'm just going to glue them together in pairs. I'm just going to glue them down on the outer edge with the flat part towards the center and the rounded part 
close to the outer edge on each side. Then on the other piece, so I have the outline for these little closures, so I'm just going to put glue on the very back panel, gluing them down to those scored outlines, like so. So I've got my two pieces, I've got my tabs here, and I've got that flap with the three slits in it, and I'm just threading my tabs into those slits, and then I'm folding down on those tabs, like so. I'm just putting glue on each one of those tabs, like so, and then just folding down. So I still have that flap that's sticking up, I'm going to put glue all over it, and I'm just folding it down. And I have this one piece that has a score line along the length of it. The wider side goes where your briefcase is deeper. So you just want to glue that down. All right, so next I have these two pieces. The score line that runs the length of the piece is just for placement. So I just want to fold them on that center score line. And then I'm going to put glue all along from the score line to the top. So I have my little closing tabs on this piece, on that thin piece. I'm just going to position this right in the corner and I want that score line to be just at the edge of my box like so. So I'm going to do that on the other side as well. Like so. And so that helps my guide my box closed properly. So next I have this one piece with the score lines telling me where to position my embellishments. So I have three rectangles. They are the same width but a different height. So I'm just putting a bead of glue on three edges and I'm going to glue the mid-sized one down to the larger, making sure that they are flush at the edges and at the bottom. And then I'm going to grab the smallest of the three, a bead of glue along three sides and gluing it down. This one is going to fit in the very first set of score lines. And so the next one I have the bottom and the top, so I'm just folding down on those little tiny score lines. I'm putting glue on that bottom score line and I'm positioning it so that it's positioning score lines on my piece. And then I'm just going to fold it forwards and burnish it to make sure it stays nice and stuck. So I'm putting glue on both those tabs on either side, making sure that they're folded under. Then I have the top flap that goes over it and then glue it down. And then I have my accordion pocket, so I'm just folding down on the tab at the bottom. And then for each side, I'm folding downwards, so it's a mountain fold, and then upwards, it's a valley fold, and then downwards again. So if I turn it from the front, this is what your accordion fold should look like. I'm do that on the other side as well. So now I have both my sides, and they should look like this. So you've got that last level pointing inwards. So now I'm just going to put some glue on the bottom, on that bottom tab. And again, I'm placing it so that it's right on the edge of that score line. So then I'm going with my bone folder, and I'm just burnishing that tab. And I'm putting glue along both sides. So I'm just tucking them in as I press down. So I'm positioning my piece so that it's between those lines on my craft mat, so I know that the center point is right here. So I have a craft dowel, and I'm just positioning my craft dowel on my center point. And then I have this decorative piece, and our score lines on it, and you just want to fold down on the score lines, and then fold down on the second set of score lines that are really close. So I'm just putting a little bit of glue between the two sets of score lines, so you've got one on the right and one on the left. I'm going to position this like so. And I'm just pressing down on either side just to make sure that that glue is really taking. I'm going to rotate this 90 degrees. So I'm going to put glue just on one end. I'm inserting my dowel again, pressing down on the end with the glue. And then I'm going to do that on the other one as well. I have the score line at the bottom. I'm just going to fold down on that score line. Then I have these two decorative pieces, and this is where I'm going to make use of those little tiny circles. One of them is just going to go here, 
And the other one. The third one is going to go just in the center of this little pocket. And I'm going to fold down on the score lines that are on both of these pieces. And I'm just putting glue all along the tab that's at the bottom as best I can. I'm gluing this down so that it's straight and as centered on my panel as possible. And then I'm taking those little decorative pieces. I'm putting glue from the score line to that square edge. And I'm positioning it. I'm using my craft mat again. So I've glued it down so it's about an eighth of an inch in and just at that one inch mark. I'm going to do that for the other one as well. And then I'm taking three of these glue dots. Now these are 3 16th of an inch for this size. And I'm putting one of them just at the tip here. And gluing that down. And then one at the tip here. And gluing it down. And then one just here on the little pocket. And gluing that down. I'm going to take that entire panel and glue it in the top like so. So I'm just putting glue on the entire back of the panel. And then I have the piece with the rounded edges. I'm just going to glue that to the bottom like so. All right, so the last step, or at least the only step left to do, is the closures at the front here. Now, with a larger one, I used magnets. But because this is such a small surface to adhere anything to, I think I'm just going to go with the glue dots that I used before. So these and I'm just going to adhere them 